I am at Tar Hollow. I cannot tell you what this is. This is an old road. It's closed. If you drive back a little ways, dirt road, single single lane, and then it just dead end. It was closed. Interesting. <laughs> but I saw this. This is actually the closed part of the road. Figure I'll walk back a little ways. And I looked at it on Google Maps. It does actually come into the uh, another road. <clears throat> actually. I don't know if this is considered Tar Hollow State Park. I think this is Tar Hollow uh, National Forest. So I'm a little south of the state park. I will put the name of the road that this is in the description below. Like I said, I can't think of the name of it right offhand. I was just driving around exploring all these uh, roads down through here. There's some really nice roads here. Come down here, take some time, and drive around the uh, roads through the forest. One thing I've noticed about it down here, insects are crazy. You gotta make sure you bring some type of bug spray. And even driving down the road with my windows open, they were flying into the car. <laughs> so this place definitely has its insects. I don't know if I'm going to follow this because looking at this on Google Maps, this road could be several miles. I shouldn't say several. Maybe three or four. Not a lot to hike. But I don't know if the place where you park your car, how safe that is. So I'm not going to follow it today, but I think I will maybe one day come down and look at the other end of it. And uh, maybe hike this whole thing just just to hike it. Looks like a tree or something across the road up here. I don't know if this is why they closed this road because, I mean, these look like natural uh, stream crossings. Um, and there's no sign of there ever being a bridge here, here at any time. So, it looks like traffic that was coming down this road would drive through the streams. Not a big deal if they're not that deep. This has probably been down for a little while.
I had to guess, I'd say this is the same stream we just cried crossing over and over. <laughs> That's just a little clearing or if that actually goes somewhere. Can't really see over into there. See if it actually goes back into the woods or not. This is cool right here. Definitely a nice little road. Nice little walkway. Little path to walk. I definitely will have to put this on my radar to follow it to the end, see how far it goes. Like I say, looking at it on Google Maps, it does at one point merge to another road. I don't know if the camera is picking up the sound of the insects flying around my head or not, but... There are some nice elevations, nice hill climbs down here at Tar Hollow. I want to do the Logan Trail, but I'm willing to come down and do it when it's cooler. It's about 90 degrees today, high humidity, dew point. I think about maybe October, come down here and hike the uh, Logan Trail. I'm probably going to stop here pretty soon and turn around and go back. Like I say, this is on my radar now to follow it. I may today, I don't know, drive to the other end of it and see what, how far uh, the walkway is or if it eventually turns back into road, the road. If I do, I'll put it on this video. Uh, I'm gonna go around this curve and I'm gonna head back.
Turn something over there. It's one of those times when you know you want to turn around and you turn around and go back, but you want to keep going around that next curve just to see what's around it. You know? <laughs> I know we've all had that feeling. One more curve, just see what's around it. And then we keep on going around the next curve, the next curve. I'll look on my GPS and see exactly how far I did walk into this road. Maybe I'll do a screen cap of it and put it at the end of the video to show how far I did walk into this. That too would give me an idea how much further I had to go. All right. I know I want to keep going, but I am going to turn around now and head back and I'm thinking about going around to the, driving around to the other side and just see what's at the other side and how far this goes. Okay, something else. Uh, this is where I actually started at. And I come in through there. Like I said, I'll put the name of the road down at the bottom. Or if I do the second part, I'll look at the name of it. But that's where I went. That's not like where the road used to go. There's also a pathway over here now the one i walked through there's a way to get around it so they probably don't care it's probably open to people parking this one here is pretty much looks like they don't want you going back here like they put up a fence to prevent you from going back here doesn't mean you can't climb over and still go back here but i'm going it doesn't say keep out doesn't say no trespassing it just has a fence there so you can't walk around it um but i like to follow it and see where i'm one of those if i see a trail or an old road or whatever it bugs me i need to follow it and see where it goes <laughs> so the next time i come back down and do finish this one here i'm going to also hike this one the thing is is when we were walking back that first trail if you notice on the left side was the mountains going up a, a hill going up so this cannot go parallel with that one because it, it unless it goes up the hill and the only other thing is it goes to the left up here somewhere and goes around the hill i don't know but i know i didn't see anything parallel in there when we were walking so got to find out where it went Okay, now I'm at the other end, but there's a little change in what I thought was what back where I was hiking at. What I was hiking on was not where the road continued to win at one time. That was a bridle trail. Um, the road actually curved to the left, and that's that section where I was showing you where they had that gate and that it was closed that's the direction the road went and now i am i again i will have to look at the name of this road here that i'm on but looking it up on google this is where that road not the bridal trail but the road comes out right here uh it does looks walkable high grass but this is where it comes out and they definitely don't want you driving back there. The other end had the gate. This end, they definitely logged it up. So you will not be driving back there. Not sure why it's closed. Why they're not using it anymore. But apparently, they don't want people driving back there. Whether they want you walking. Again, there's no 
no trespassing sign or keep out sign here. What's cool Because I went out this way then I turned around and come back because I missed it. Still got a stop sign here. <laughs> Surprised somebody hasn't snatched that yet. So that's where it comes out at right here. Will I still walk it someday? I might. Just for the heck of it. But like I said, the what we were originally walking was not the road. It was a bridal trail. The road actually curved to the left. 